What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian from Pixel Feet here. And in this video, I'm gonna explain the Facebook ads conversion window. I don't know, but people tend to overcomplicate this thing and I don't really understand why because it's pretty simple once you break it down. So I'm gonna break it down for you and then I'm gonna tell you how I do it, how I use them to get better results and launch better campaigns. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's go. So. As most of you know, uh, Facebook has a learning phase where you have to get uh, 50 conversions or 50 actions of whatever your, your object is in that campaign. So obviously if you're going for, for like something like leads or some uh, product that's super cheap or a free, a free plus shipping offer, you wanna go with one day click, okay? Or one day click or view. Because what happens is that's an impulse action. People are gonna take action on the, on the cold uh, traffic ad. Okay, so if, if it's lead generation, if it's cheap, anything under $70 usually, I'll go for the one day one click view. Because again, you have to get 50 conversions to exit the learning phase that Facebook has set up. So if it's a cheap product, it's super easy to exit that phase. Now, anything that's $70 or higher, depending on your budget, you wanna go with seven days, seven days click. Why? Because expensive products take multiple touch points. People are not gonna drop $1,500 on a product unless they see the ad multiple times. Not many people are gonna pull the trigger right away. And even if they do, think about it, if you're selling a $500 product, how much money do you have to spend for Facebook to have 50 conversions, 50 purchase conversions, let's say you're going for purchases, in, in a week, in seven days? It's not that easy. You will have to drop a lot of money. So the way I use them and the way that I do it is, if I'm doing lead generation or free, one day click. Because I'm telling Facebook, hey, get me those right away, right? If I'm doing an e-com product, right? Whether it's cheap or expensive, I first launch with one day click or view because I want to test my audiences. I wanna see if people are interested in that audience. And when you choose one day click or view, you're forcing the algorithm to try to find those impulse buyers when you, if you're using lowest cost as well. So when you set up lowest cost and you go for one day click or view, that tells the algo, hey, I want you to find me those people right off the bat who are impulse buyers, right? Because what happens is when you launch a campaign or you turn an ad set on, Facebook goes for the lowest hanging fruit right away, so it's gonna try to grab that from you. And if you have rules set up in place, if you know your CPAs, your cost per acquisition or your cost per purchase, when you set a rule that says, hey, I'm willing to pay 50 bucks for that conversion, no more than that, Facebook's gonna work even harder to try to get you that conversion. Because the more conversions you get, the more money they make. So once your audience is proven, you just let that Ad, that ad set run and run and run as long as you're getting results. Anything that has profit, you never kill. Why would you kill anything with profit, right? But the correct thing to do is, once you do that, you go, all right, that's a proven audience. Now I'm gonna duplicate my ad set or duplicate into a, a brand new campaign and I'm gonna choose seven day click because now Facebook is, is really gonna take its sweet time to optimize and we know we can get that amount of conversions in a week. And actually the way it works with seven days it starts really slow. The first couple of days, it's really slow. You might get a sell here and there, but it's amazing. On the third or fourth day, you're actually gonna see your campaign start to ramp up and your costs are gonna start getting cheaper and your average order value is gonna be higher if you have multiple products and your ROAS, it's gonna get higher and higher as it goes, which if, one, if you look at the one day, because you're gonna leave it running if it's profitable. If you keep looking at your one day, yes, the results are gonna be good, and you might have a high ROAS, but it's very spotty. Like one day you'll get sales, and one day you'll get no sales, and one day you'll get one sell, and then no sales the next day. But it, it stays very steady. So that's the way I do it. If you guys, I, I hope that clears it up for you because I know how people can get complicated. So let me know in the, in the comments if you have any questions or anything like that. And in the meantime, just click one of the boxes and keep watching my videos, and I'll see you on the next one.